a North Central duels champion and was the Lawrence North High School homecoming king. Michael Duckworth is from Union County. Dan Briggs is his head coach. The junior is 47 and 1, 84 career falls. Uh, finished third at the Newcastle Semi-State. Has won a couple of sectional championships. Uh, he finished second in the 160-pound weight class a year ago. A Spartan Classic champion. Third place in the freshman nationals. Second place in the sophomore nationals. A three-time Tri-Eastern Conference champion. From Union County, that's Michael Duckworth. And again, Bryce Grimes from Lawrence North is the 171-pound weight class. And the uh, solid red singlet, if you will, is... Uh, that, that'd be Grimes. That is North Bryce North. Grimes and Duckworth from Union County wearing the red, white, and blue singlet. And Grimes is the home wrestler. And there's a history, Mark, between these two as well. Uh, Last week, they met in the Newcastle semi-state, and uh, Grimes did defeat Duckworth. And last year, in the round to go to state, Duckworth defeated Grimes. So these two have gone after each other quite a bit. Grimes beat Huey Hudson from South Bend Riley, who was 37-6. and six. He beat him at uh, a fall at the 539 mark. Duckworth, a winner over Center Grove's Shelby Mappus, that two by pinfall. Mappas, the senior, had a record of 43-3 and three going into that match. Well, these two wrestlers know each other, and they're still filling each other out. Both are trying to get, keep risk control. Try to... Duckworth's working for a little bit of a snap, not to no avail. 20 seconds left in the first period. And I think, in general, the first period tonight has been one of a conservative approach by most of the wrestlers here, but then the action usually picks up. There's not a whole lot happening right here. Duckworth's going two on one, trying to force the action. If he would keep, if he keeps pushing it like this, the Grimes will be hit for Warren for stalling. Comes with an opportunity to win it. Well, Grimes deferred and Duckworth took down to start the second period. And I think uh, Coach Williams from Lawrence North realizes this probably won't go as an overtime match. There's going to be some points scored. Talking with uh, Coach Williams, I had a good I had an opportunity to visit with him. Jared was an outstanding wrestler from Evansville Harrison. He wrestled for Purdue. He's also an outstanding football player. His father is the principal at Carmel High School here in Indy. And he, his father was an outstanding wrestler and football player as well and a wrestling coach. So wrestling is in the blood, and Jared said that Grimes started out. It's a good lesson for all wrestlers. Uh, Grimes started out with a losing record as a freshman. He was about 500 as a sophomore. This very uh, individual, Michael Duckworth, knocked him out of the state tournament last year. This year he upset, or he was able to take Duckworth last week, and here they are in a state championship match. Wasn't that long ago I ran across a saying, Coach. It was, uh, it was the definition of commitment. Commitment is not something that you have to do. It's something you want to do that gets you where you want to be. And I think when you see a young man start with a losing record and he commits himself to get better, uh, bearing the fruits of, those labor, uh, of that labor now. Certainly. And, you know, you've got to admire the young men who stay with it. This is a, such a difficult, grueling sport. And it's, you know, you're out there by yourself. You either win or lose on your own. No one to give credit to or blame to except for yourself. This is a pretty good match. Grimes is hanging on. Duckworth's trying to get to his feet. I think he's taking his time a little bit. Now he's trying to get nice moves. He was standing to his feet and tried to go for a switch. Uh-oh, locked hands on Grimes. And Duckworth uh, had the mad awareness to look at the referee and say, hey, he can't lock his hands here. See if he, that'll be a caution on Grimes. He almost did it again. Now he's got the wrist caught. He's trying to control. Nice job by Duckworth coming up. He's trying to work the hands. Nice hip under and take him right back to the mat. It's a big, strong move by Mr. Grimes. Yes. 20 seconds left. Grimes is doing a great job of riding him out. I, this is uh, a bit of a surprise to me. 
He tries uh, something like a Granby row and he almost got away. Two children, Jennifer and Carrie. Good nice break. move by Duck with eight seconds left. And what he couldn't do for a minute and 52 seconds, he's able to do at the buzzer ending the second period. Effort from Highland, the winner there. Two of the first three went over time, and I don't think we've had one since. Maybe one. Duckworth is working for a hook and a bar arm while he has the near leg hooked with his leg. So, you know, it's important in wrestling if, to control the other wrestler's body. If you hook the ankle, you control that ankle, you control the leg, and when you control the leg, you control the hips. And it's just about like any other sport. If you control the hips, you can control the individual. 90 seconds left. Still two to nothing. Now, Duckworth's not working real hard with it, but it, look, it appears that Grimes is uh, not able to get back, build a base back and get up with, make some action happen. Duckworth will be happy to sit with this. Now, he's got to get off of the hips pretty soon. He's going to get hit for one for stalling. But with a two to nothing lead, he'll probably take his first warning. One minute now. Grimes has some work to do. Well, Grimes is flat. He, I, I don't know who's stalling here. Duckworth certainly isn't going to make take any chances, and Grimes, uh, he, he's not able to get it to his base. 45 seconds left in the final period. This is the 171-pound weight class. Now let's see what kind of action happens now on the whistle. There's another caution, false start against Grimes. If he does it again, that'll be another penalty point, and that would just about end it, his chances. But he's, you know he's explosive and he's quick. To his feet. Duckworth rides through nicely. He doesn't panic, he rolls through. Grimes did something of a Granby roll. Duckworth had the wrist and arm under control and just simply rolled through with it. But Grimes' momentum carried both of them back to where they started. Working that forehead over a little bit. Now Grimes has got to be careful that he doesn't get another caution at this point. There he goes. <laughs> Somebody moved. Unless the, uh, the sound of the whistle took a long time to get up here. And Duckworth's doing a great job riding that near arm. He's got both arms on. It's a double arm bar, and Grimes can't get his wrist free. And Michael Duckworth is a second Michael Union County champion of the night. State champion of 171 pounds. The final two to nothing. Duckworth wins it two to nothing. He joins Cody Phillips of Union County, who was the champion in the 103-pound weight class. We now move to presentation well, for a school the size of Union County to pull off two state champions in one night, that's quite a compliment to their program. Seventh place goes to Mishawaka's Joseph Smith. Finishing sixth from Evansville Memorial Tanner winning. Fifth place goes to Delphi's Braden Atwood. Finishing fourth from South Bend Riley, Huey Hudson. Third place goes to Center Grove's Shelby Mappas. Finishing second from Lawrence North High School, Bryce Grimes. And at the top of the heat for 171 this year from Union County High School, a great junior, 48 and 1 on the season, state champion Michael Duckworth. Again, one of two state champions from Union County, 171 pounds Michael Duckworth, 103 pounds Cody Phillips.